Well, something like 25% of CO2 emissions come from housing. Um, and by definition, our worst housing stock are the biggest sort of culprits. And the poorest people in society tend to live in those houses. So for us, it's, it's absolutely essential that we look at ways of improving things like energy efficiency, because that was a direct impact on fuel poverty. So the only way we're going to do that is by investing in green skills and hopefully get the economic benefits from that for, for poorer communities as well. I think it's about everybody, clients, uh, private sector contractors, Welsh Assembly government, you know, actually align together to buy into the agenda and to corporately own it, if you like, because there's a lot of goodwill out there, but it needs to be aligned so that everybody knows what they're doing to achieve the outcomes that they want. While we're investing something like three billion pounds in improving homes to the Welsh Housing Quality Standard over the next five years in some of our poorest communities, and that's going to throw up all sorts of issues about the sort of homes we want for the future. So I think it's really important that we look at, it, at the opportunities, not just to improve homes, but to get local jobs training, particularly green skills training, into those communities. Well, again, I think the industry, you know, naturally obviously compete for a lot of the work that we're talking about here, but there's an understanding through this forum that actually there's a lot of common interest in getting things like procurement on a level playing field, making sure the processes are transparent, open and fair, uh, so that everybody starts on the same footing. So I think it's really encouraging that competitor organisations recognise they've got a mutual interest in making this a much better and fairer process. They've been the sort of ringmaster for this, you know, they've, they've, they've pulled people together and, you know, without that sort of facilitation role, it would be very difficult to get people very busy, very focused on their own sort of priorities, actually to give time up, to sit down and actually recognise that they've got a mutual interest in working on these things together.